This is Jonathan Valdez from OrangeJuiceAndBiscuits.com, and you're watching the Ultra V Network. Some of the best shows that I saw this season were Carlos Millier was great. He had a kind of army of really fierce women walking out at the beginning of the show with really fun music that I kind of danced to while I was watching. And he had really flowy pieces. And this one girl was wearing an orange one, which, you know, being orangejuiceandbiscuits.com, I love. And I was saying that they were walking for their lives because they really were. Um, then I also saw an off-site show, Marlon Goebel, who is a menswear designer. Designer, and I love his pieces. His set was grocery store themed and his clothes had fruit on them like the patterns were bananas and there was an orange shirt that I would love to have. He always does really bright suits and you know um, he has these little you know pins and flowers and just little details that really you know excite me and, and I feel like his clothes match my personality really well. Um, the Diesel Black Gold show was of course great and that's always at the piers. So big trends that I'm seeing for spring, summer 2012 and for fall this year, but it's longer lines for women, um, longer skirts, you know, for the longest time we've seen short cocktail dresses or just shorter lines, but everyone's going back to longer lines, you know, I think it has a lot to do with the 70s influence coming back, but skirts are longer, you know, cover-ups are longer, so it's all about being flowy and fun and then also tons of color again for spring, summer 2012 is what I saw at the tents and I can't fight with that because I absolutely love color and I think that it's about time that skirts and lines got a little bit longer because personally I was over seeing cocktail dresses at you know red carpet and black tie events so I'm really happy that designers are choosing to go back to a longer skirt and dress. So this year, I got to run into a lot of celebrities, just like every Fashion Week, and I actually got to interview and speak with Annabelle Tolman, who's a great stylist, and she was so nice to me. She was great. Um, she, you know, complimented my style, which was a great, you know, honor coming from Annabelle Tolman. I also ran into Juliana Ranzik, or Juliana Ranzik de Pandy, as I like to call her, at the Leah Sophia gifting suite, and I actually got this awesome ring <laughs> from there, and she was so nice, and we talked about E! News and we talked about my blog and so she was really great. So this year I was asked to be a part of the It Gets Better Lounge at the Empire Hotel that's right across the street from Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week and that lounge was put on by Elle Magazine, Rue La La and the Sundance Channel and basically the It Gets Better campaign is a campaign um, to promote anti-bullying amongst um, youth, um, specifically the LGB community but to me personally I feel like everybody who's young and in junior high and high school can benefit from this anti-bullying campaign. And it was a really great lounge, you know, there was um, KJ Bennett, who's a, an, Emmy, an Emmy Award winning makeup artist, was there doing makeup. There was an eyebrow bar, there was an oxygen bar, there was, you know, all sorts of fun stuff to be had. Um, and when I was there during my hour, um, Carson Kressley showed up, Joe Z from Elle Magazine showed up, and then, you, as I said, Jackie Collins was there and she, and she showed up and was lovely. So a lot of people came throughout the day and it was a wonderful event. Um, you know, lots of people came to support and do videos telling the youth that it will get better. And what better thing to do than to, at Fashion Week than have a fabulous time and give back at the same time. I feel this year the people that made a statement at Fashion Week were Carmen Mark Volvo because his stuff was so elegant and gorgeous and a girl next to me actually got a tear in her eye from the end pieces because they were pretty creamy pinks and yellows and very House and Heritage-esque. Um, but you know, obviously Carmen put his own spin on it and they were gorgeous pieces. And as far as a designer that a lot of people may not know is V-Lov, which was V-L-O-V. Their show is very innovative. It was here at Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week and they had really cool futuristic-esque um, very contemporary menswear that was only white black and blue and they had everyone come out in their color-coded sections so I think that those two people are you know the people that stand out to me the most